dear students today we are going to study understanding the concept of critical language awareness language is a powerful tool for communication language and discourse assemble legalize and organize knowledge communal relationships and organizations it means that uh, it is because of language and the discourse we actually uh, organize legalize uh, the knowledge and all its types uh, and uh, the communal relationships uh, in the society in which we are living and the establishment of the organizations and their concerned roles only lexical items subject verb agreement and tenses do not guide to the comprehension of text uh, it means uh, uh, a written text or language is not uh, completely or holistically understood uh, uh, only by uh, looking at the surface features uh, which only uh, relates to the grammatical features and vocabulary basically it is an interdisciplinary approach to the study of communication that views language as a form of communal practice and focal point is to study the ways social and political domination are reproduced by written and verbal style it means that we want to understand any written text or any form of the language being written or spoken uh and uh, it is possible only because uh, when we uh, relate the language uh, to its uh, 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 social aspect uh, that is uh, we have studied in social linguistics that society uh, affects the language and language is affected or affect the society mm, so in this uh, way the communal practice related to the social aspect of the language and how the social and the political factors dominate uh, the um, language produced by the writer or by the speaker it is very important to have writers and speakers point of view the historical context and the social background of the text and oral communication all these factors have to uh, sort out or uh, to identify those factors related to the social and political domains the understanding of text actually the encoding on the writer's part and decoding on the reader's part uh, the both these elements uh, while uh, uh, trying to understand any language go side by side that is what the message uh, writer uh, produced or composed and in what way that particular message the reader can uh, be able to understand due to critical analysis skills readers become conscious of the concealed meaning within various kinds of text it is our critical ability and the way we analyze any text or language uh, by uh, applying the critical skills and abilities that we are able to uh, expose the hidden meaning of the text or language wells calls it the pedagogical arm of critical discourse analysis it means the critical language awareness uh, is called a pedagogical arm of critical discourse analysis which as he points out draws on educational and social theory and on linguistics critical language awareness not only highlights non transparent aspects of the social function of language but it pays attention to linguistic dimensions of educational failure or inadequacies in foreign language learning it means that critical language awareness highlights on the non transparent means hidden aspects of the language and the those aspects of the hidden aspects of the language that belongs to its social function and also it pays attention on the linguistic dimensions of the educational failure that why students uh, uh, fail to understand uh, and uh, analyze a given text or piece of language uh, and why they uh, uh, do not acquire the particular and required uh, uh, skills abilities or level of proficiency while learning the foreign language and uh, why what are the reasons behind uh, the teacher 
who fails to uh, fulfill the process of learning in such a successful way studies conducted over the past 8 to 10 years within the field of applied linguistics provide a wealth of new approaches to language learning and teaching critical language awareness will help english as a foreign language teachers realize objectives involving intercultural communicative competence and in so doing move foreign language instruction towards a broader and more inclusive understanding of english as a global language courts also stated that students need to develop three types of competence user analyst and teacher teachers or learners Uh, teachers and learners could do such an analysis together in the critical language awareness room further in order to uh, advance uh, this concept of uh, critical language awareness first of all we should have to understand uh, that what is language awareness at first hand uh, critical language awareness uh, can be understood as springing from an earlier movement called language awareness it means that cla uh, developed after the movement uh, about the understanding of the language which was called language awareness which developed in england in response to government reports bearing out a passive sense of dissatisfaction with english and foreign language education in public schools uh, language awareness initially defined by fairclough as conscious attention to properties of language and language use as an element of language education so language awareness uh, uh, deals about uh, the conscious attention on the hand of the reader on the hand of the learner or on the hand of the teacher that he at consciously attentively uh, tries to Uh, pinpoint the properties and identify the properties of the language and how language is used as an element of language education itself that is for the subject of teaching and learning language is substantially impacted by the experience and uh, perception of the individual language awareness is a person's sensitivity and conscious awareness of the nature of language and its role in human life uh, this is also the same concept uh, and uh, tried to describe in some other words uh, that is uh, it is a person sensitivity in uh, it means any individuals uh, perceptive ability uh, or uh, his mental aptitude and skills that how he understand knowingly it means consciously become aware of the nature of language type of the language and uh, how that particular language or nature of language perform its roles in the human life uh, or in the society according to donmel it operates on three distinct levels language awareness the cognitive level referring to awareness of language patterns it means on the uh, level of learning and understanding the affective level that is with regard to forming attitudes and behaviors and feelings the social level which references the improvement of learners effectiveness as communicators being uh, in particular uh, 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 being uh, present in a particular type of communicative situation benefits of language awareness orent horvey and not all regard a focus on language awareness as bringing numerous benefits such as speakers are more appreciative of the complexity and sophistication of communication through language it means uh, if uh, a speaker uh, is aware of the language awareness Uh, phenomena and all its uh, major concepts and properties uh, he when uh, in the process of speaking becomes more appreciative of the complexity and sophistication of communication um, by using the language language awareness methodology offers a productive and rewarding route for exploring the richness and complexity of language through this language awareness technique we uh, become able to uh, understand the 
richness, depth and complexity of the language. Speakers are encouraged to consider what is involved in attempts to transfer first language skills to another language and thus to draw inferential relationships between languages. Language awareness also helps perhaps on the most practical level so that those who are involved in English language teaching derive a broadened, deepened understanding of how English or it means language works. Now we have come to the point which is our topic critical language awareness. According to Fairclough, uh, critical language awareness highlights how language conventions and language practices are invested with power relations and ideological processes which people are often unaware of. It means it is the technology of critical language awareness, uh, awareness that makes us able to highlight the uh, highlight about language. What? What are the language conventions, rules, traditions, principles and how language practices uh, in what way uh, it performs the function and in what way it is used in different situations. Uh, uh, we try to highlight these aspects of the language invested with power relations and ideological process they, that are backed uh, uh, by the uh, involvement of uh, or the exploitation of different power relations and the ideological processes uh, to which uh, common people are mostly unaware of. Language is never neutral language is never neutral power hierarchy dominance contestation resistance transformation are all embedded in language all these properties are produced retained resisted and reinforced again and again through the use of language in linguistics critical language awareness refers to an understanding of social, political and ideological aspects of the language, linguistic variation and discourse. It functions as a pedagogical application of a critical discourse analysis which is a research approach that regards language as a social practice. Critical language awareness as a part of language education teaches students how to analyze the language that they and others use. More specifically, critical language awareness is a consideration of how features of the language such as words, its grammar and its discourse choices reproduce, reinforce or challenge certain ideological and uh, struggles for power and dominance. Uh, regarding linguistic variation, Fairclough argued that it is insufficient to teach students to use appropriate language without considering why that language is preferred and who makes that decision as well as the implications for speakers who do not use appropriate language. Critical language awareness generally includes consideration of how a person may be marginalized by speaking a particular way especially if that way of speaking serves as an index of their race ethnicity, religion, social status, etc. All these things are the basic concept we have already studied in the sociolinguistics in detail that uh, uh, power relations, dominance, uh, hierarchy, uh, more prestigious and less prestigious uh, uh, language properties, uh, how they are uh, formed, how they are developed and how they are used in the society. Because power is reproduced through language, critical language awareness is a prerequisite for effective democratic citizenship and should therefore be seen as an entitlement for citizens, especially children developing towards citizenship in the educational system. Critical language awareness is allied with critical pedagogy. From this alliance or coalition, three major principles emerge. First that teaching is emancipatory it means independent not dependent on anything or uh, it is it aims to make independent second the teaching is oriented towards the recognition of difference and third an engagement with teaching as an oppositional practice in which all participants are continuously thinking towards the prospects of empowerment 
Critical language awareness is a field of study that focuses on raising the awareness of teachers and learners of English as an uh, international language. As to the socially constructed nature of language practices, this awareness includes understanding that there is more to teaching and learning a language than grammar and vocabulary. It means that critical language awareness make able the learner and the teachers both that the teaching and learning of the language is not merely bound to the study or the knowledge of the grammar or vocabulary. It is something more than that. Aims and scope of critical language awareness. Clark and Ivanek say that critical language awareness looks to empower learners by providing them with a critical analytical framework to help them reflect reflect mean to think to ponder uh, on their own language experiences and practices how they use the language practices of others how other people use their language in the institutions of which they are a part and in the wider society within which they live importance of critical language awareness Korea has counted a number of reasons why reading comprehension exercises should not be used as the only kind of reading activity in the critical language awareness rooms. And in order to uh, uh, teach or make the students able that uh, they become uh, able to uh, critically analyze language and become aware of the hidden properties of the language. Uh, she suggests that uh, only reading comprehension technique is not uh, enough for this purpose because firstly according to Davies reading comprehension exercises involve passive reading in which students merely have to locate the information in the text to answer a question secondly according to Tomich such tasks do not encourage students to read between the lines or questions the authenticity of the information. Thirdly, these tasks generally refer only to parts of the text, not to the whole text. Finally, such text uh, tasks, especially for young learners, are neither challenging nor fun. In Korea's study, the students' feedback revealed that when reading English as a foreign language text, they felt they needed help to come up with a reading between the lines. Critical language awareness procedures result in an increase in students' motivations. Students should be equipped with the necessary critical tools in order not to be manipulated with text loaded with ideologies. Teachers and translators should also have a critical way of thinking about what they teach and translate in foreign languages. All these uh, are the uh, important, uh, important points that why critical language awareness should be studied to the students and why teachers must also be uh, aware of these. Critical awareness of the discourse. As Fairclough reminds us, the latest development in critical language awareness take into account the world's changing configurations. Uh, even as the shape of new global social order becomes more evident, so does the need of a critical awareness of language. It means that the world is changing with fast pace. New social dimensions are appearing day by day. Uh, for example, we can have the example of the uh, uh, vogue of uh, social media in the form of Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, so, uh, this also needs that uh, we must have uh, the critical awareness of a particular type of language used on the social platforms in order to meet the uh, pace of the progress of the uh, society and uh, uh, the world at large as part of people's resources for living in new ways in new circumstances among those new circumstances is a broader sense of what constitutes discourse given that the linguistic code is part of a broader array of multiple semiotic codes including for example visual images several authors have already approached this emerging type of discourse called by some multimedia discourse the production consumption and comprehension of media in all of its aspects will surely play an increasingly important role in the language learning curriculum Application of the CLA in the educational discourse. 
CLA begins uh, to create awareness in students of sociolinguistic variation, the dialect awareness and the ethnography of speaking. Uh, students subsequently conduct a reflexive ethnographic analysis of their own daily experiences. They uh, themselves uh, analyze their daily use of the language, how and in what degree they, that contains the ethnography in their speech uh, or the dialect uh, awareness and variations. Keep a journal of their daily conversations. This practice validates uh, the student's language preference outside the classroom. Students gain a better awareness of their own linguistic speaking patterns and interactions. Students expand their ethnographic skills by examining their own social world. Goal of linguistic profiling is to expose students to the nature of power relations in language. Watch a video introducing them to the racial uh, assumptions made in pronouncing hello. Students are often animated through these explorations of linguistic profiling in their communities and they are motivated to engage in community activism around issues of linguistic discrimination. To conclude all this uh, uh, discussion and the important points and concepts we have covered so far, critical language awareness programs may be an important way in which we can revise our pedagogies. Uh, that is the art of teaching. How can we teach uh, in the best possible way, keeping in mind the social aspects, political aspects and ideological aspects uh, embedded in the language and related to the language and also the social patterns and ever-changing societies and their norms. So, uh, how can we revise our pedagogies or teaching methodologies and techniques? Not only to take the student's language into account, but also to account for the interconnectedness of the language with the larger socio-political and socio-historical phenomena that help to maintain unequal power relations in a still segregated society. It means that our society is segregated, distributed in uh, different stratas or uh, group of the members of the society, uh, which are uh, uh, different from each other on the basis of ethnicity and the linguistic variations, uh, etc. Uh, so, uh, critical language awareness uh, uh, help us, helps us, uh, the teachers and the learners both in order to uh, understand, get uh, the full comprehension uh, on the multiple angles uh, and multiple aspects uh, related to the use of the language and the